Hey guys, guess what? Flower Beauty has finally come to Australia. I went online and purchased a whole heap of goodies, so in today's video I'm going to be testing them out, so stay tuned if you want to see how that goes. By the way, this isn't the look I created with the Flower Beauty makeup. The day I was filming, I actually forgot to do my intro, so that's why I'm filming it now after work. So Flower Beauty is available at Chemist Warehouse here in Australia. I do believe it's only at selected stores, but you can purchase everything online. I did end up going into my local store quite a few times to see if it was there. I even asked the staff members and they didn't really know what I was talking about. So that's why I end up doing my order online. I prefer not to do that. I like to go into store, have a look at the range myself, do some swatches and get a feel, but unfortunately I couldn't do that. Now everything is priced at $14 and under, which is so affordable. A lot of the prices actually match the US prices. I was comparing them on the Flower Beauty website and the Chemist Warehouse website, and a lot of them are very similar. I was expecting it to be a lot higher. An average drugstore price here for foundation is $20 to $30, so when I saw this was only $15, I was a bit taken back. Unfortunately, the entire Flower Beauty range isn't available here. There are a few things missing, one of those being the much raved about sponge. I was very lucky to actually have a subscriber send this to me a while ago, so I do have it, but if you're looking at Chemist Warehouse, you're not going to be able to find it. Hopefully, they release the full range soon. All right, well, I've got almost a full face here, so let's just get straight into it. All right, so starting out, I didn't actually pick up a primer, so instead I've gone in with my favorite anti-redness, the L'Oreal Infallible. So onto foundation, I picked up the Light Illusion. So this one is the lightest shade they have, and it is called Porcelain. I still think it looks a bit dark, but we will see. It provides you with medium to buildable coverage to smooth and perfect while imparting your skin with the most fluttering, soft luminosity imaginable. Blah, blah, blah. I've heard that it's really dewy, actually, so let's see. So this one was only $14. The packaging is really nice. It's a glass bottle and it's got a pump. Okay, that is really dark. Let's get out the lightning drops. <laughs> I'll just put a little swatch on my face so you can see. And then next to it, I'll put a swatch of the Maybelline Superstay in 110. All right, so I'm going to mix up a lot, so I only have to mix it once. I've got about five pumps of foundation here and some of the whitening drops. Oh. I was going to cover up some of my bigger pimples, but I might leave it so we can actually get a good gauge on how the coverage is. Okay, I'm going to use a brush on this side of my face. Okay, it's definitely got a light to medium coverage, I would say. Let's use the sponge on this side. This is probably going to shear it out even more. Yeah, to me that hardly even looks like I've put anything on. Definitely more coverage with the brush, but I can see some streak marks, so I will go over it lightly with the Beauty Blender or with the Flower Beauty sponge to get rid of those. Okay, I'm just putting on a second layer to see how it builds. One layer isn't quite enough coverage for me. Maybe if I'm having a really good skin day and I prep my skin better, but if I'm just going straight in with the foundation and not covering any of my blemishes, then it's not enough coverage for me. Okay, so I would say definitely a medium coverage and it does look very dewy. Mm. I'll give you a close up so you can still see some spots 
peeping through, but look how dewy that is. Down here and here. Next, I have the Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade Fair and it was $10. All right, let's suss out the shade. I, it looks too dark already. Here's a shade of concealer that I love. This is the ColourPop in 04. Look at the difference in those shades. Okay. And this is the lightest concealer shade available. So the foundation comes in 12 shades. There's only like one dark shade. The rest are all in that medium beige category. And then the concealer, it comes in six shades and they're all beige. I've put some of the concealer onto my mixing palette and then I'm going to take my Revolution Conceal and Correct White Concealer and mix this in. Okay, that didn't do a lot, so I'm going in with my, oh shh, I put a bit too much. I'm going in with my Astralis Shade Adjusting Drop. Okay, that actually turned out to be quite a nice shade. I'd say more on the medium coverage side but it definitely looks nice and glowy. I really like the feel of this Flower Beauty sponge. It's, it's different, but it does blend the foundation and your concealer out really nicely. The only problem is the top is just so fat. When you do your under eyes, you really have to squeeze the sponge to get right up in there. It's very annoying. Okay, I'll just put a little bit more on to see how that builds. All right, then to set everything in place, I picked up the Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. Okay, this packaging is freaking humongous. How unnecessary. This is my normal Models Prefer powder and look at the size. Okay, how much product do we get? Eight grams and this is 12 grams. So you get less powder in this giant thing than in this. Wow. So this one was at $10 and it says it's a miracle worker. The powder sets your makeup with a veil of subtle radiance. Our satin formula absorbs oil and smooths skin with a soft focus effect. Now I really like the sound of that. So hopefully it performs well. So it comes with a little puff thing. There was another powder available and I'm pretty sure it was a, like a matte powder instead of a glowy one. Oh, this is colored? What? Where does it say that? I would like to know. On the website, it doesn't say anything about being colored. But I'm just gonna tip some in here. Look at the color of it. It's dark. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I was expecting it to be translucent. If I rub it out on my hand, it's quite fair. Okay. All right, I'm just going under my eyes again, blending out anywhere that the concealer has creased, which it has. It's definitely not creaseless. Then I'm going to dip my sponge into the powder and set. Yeah, that's definitely darkened it. It does look really smooth, but it's darkening my face. It's darkening it, so. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to give that one a pass because it's just not going to match my skin tone. If I give you a close up, I'm hoping you can see that it's darker. Look at that. So that's a real bummer that it didn't actually say this powder has pigment to it. I wouldn't have bought it otherwise because there is only one, one color. That's just stupid. So they do have some pressed powders as well. They actually come in seven shades, the lightest one being porcelain. It looks quite fair online, but if it's anything like the foundation, then it's going to be too dark. So anyway, I'm going to go in with my Models Prefer powder and actually just set the rest of my face. 
Now this powder does have quite a glowy finish to it as well, so I think it will work nicely with this foundation because I don't want to take away all that dewiness from the foundation. So I'm just going to lightly press that into my skin. Okay, moving on to the face, I'm just going to apply my own bronzer because Flower Beauty actually don't have any individual bronzers. They do have one, but it comes in this full face palette with some blush, some eyeshadow, some highlighter, and I'm just not usually into those, so I didn't pick it up. So I'm just quickly going to use my L'Oreal Back to Bronze, and I'll be right back. For blush, I picked up the Flower Pots Powder Blush in the shade Peach Primrose, and this one is said to have a soft satin finish. It's easy to blend and buildable color. Sounds like I'm gonna like it. So this one was $14. It has really, really cute packaging. Okay, that builds quite easily. I don't really see the satin finish though. I'd say it's more on the matte side. I think I've gone in a bit too heavy handed. <laughs> So I'm just going to get my sponge and just lightly soften the edges. For highlighter, I picked up the Glisten Up Chubby Pearl Shimmer Stick. Looks like quite a nice color. I've just blended that out on my hand there. They didn't have individual highlighters. They only had one other palette that come with three shades. There was like a champagne, a pink, and a gold. And I just don't get a lot of use out of a highlighting palette because not all the shades suit my complexion, which is why I went with the liquid chubby stick thing. <laughs> so for this, I'm going to rub my sponge on the end of it there and then just dab that onto my cheekbones. I get scared going in with liquid highlighters sometimes because they can lift up your makeup. So I find the sponge is the easiest way to apply it without ruining what's underneath. Okay, that's really nice. Mm, I like that, super creamy, blends out really easily. Next, I'm going in with a brow product. This here is the eyebrow pencil in the shade Blonde. Now, I did just get my eyebrows henna tinted, so they are a lot darker than what I would usually use. So hopefully this still works for me. So one end you've got your spoolie and the other end is just a wind up pencil. Oh, that's nice. Very creamy formula. I think that looks really good. The color actually blends in really well with the shade of my brows already. Like I get that nice gradient effect. For my eyeshadow, I have the Shimmer and Shade palette. This is described to be long lasting. It has a rich color payoff and it's blendable. Now it does only come with three matte shades. This one and the two darker ones down the end. The rest are all shimmers, all really beautiful colors and they look super shimmery. Let's give them a quick swatch. They look nice. They look real nice. So for a base, I'm just going to go in with the concealer and pop that on and then I'll set it with some powder. Now the palette also comes with this brush. It's a nice little fluffy blending brush. So I'll give that a go. I'm going to start off with the lighter matte shade. That's actually building up and blending out quite nicely. I'm sure you all know how I feel about crappy cheap eyeshadows by now. So I'm hoping this isn't one of those. These two matte shades at the end are really, really dark and quite cool toned. So I don't really want to use them. I might just, I'll test it out just a little, just to see how they go. That um, Flower Beauty brush was actually quite nice as well. I'll just tap that onto the outer corner and lightly blend it through my crease. I 
I feel like this shade isn't as pigmented and buildable as the first shade I used. It's kind of blending away. Okay, I really am not a fan of how that darker shade is blending out. I'll just give you a close-up. Just looks quite patchy. I've built the colour up quite a bit as well. Okay, I'm going to go in with this deeper bronze shimmer for like the center of my eye and then I might use this lighter shimmer for the inner corner. Okay, a bit of fallout for this one. I'm going to put a little bit of Fix Plus on and see if that boosts boosts the shimmer. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, these shades just aren't doing it for me. All right, I'm going to also fix plus this shade. Okay, that one's a little better. I'm going to try a little bit of this light gold shade just to really brighten up the inner corner. All right, I am not that impressed. I'm just going to quickly do the lower lash line. Be right back. Okay, so the eyes are done and I am just... I just feel like it looks patchy, those colours aren't shimmery enough and they just kind of, they're just not blending nicely, I don't like it. For mascara I have the Zoom In Ultimate Mascara and on the front here it says that it twists. So up here this twists and it's meant to volumize, curling, lengthening. So I think depending on what way you twist it, you're going to get a different outcome, I'm guessing. So our adjustable brush lets you control how natural or dramatic your lashes look. Brush adjust to pump up volume, lengthen and curl in one easy twist. Wand will be elongated for lengthening lashes. Twist top of cap counterclockwise until a brush contracts into a spiral for volumized lashes. Then untwist one and comb through for full define and lengthen lashes. Wow, that was a little bit too much instructions for a mascara. I don't know, like it's literally just twisting, like the bristles aren't changing or anything. Okay, whatever. So this was $9.99 and I actually got the shade Brown Black. Alright, well I think it's a nice formula, it's not too wet and it's separating my lashes really nicely. They have been lengthened but they're not as long as they could be. And lastly for lips, I actually ordered the Flower Petal Pout Lip Color in Bear Pout and it looked like a really beautiful nude lipstick. But they emailed me saying that it was out of stock and I could either wait an unknown amount of time for it to come back in stock or they could just send it to me and give me a refund. So I replied saying, can I actually get a different shade? And I sent them the shade that I would like. And then they didn't reply saying yes or no, they just automatically gave me a refund. So I was like, okay, I guess that's a no. <laughs> so I didn't end up getting a lip color. So I just went in with my L'Oreal and Balmain lipstick in the shade Urban Safari. All right, and then lucky last, I'm actually really excited for this. This is the Seal the Deal Hydrating Seti, Seti Spray. Hydrating Seti Spray, and it says it has a dewy finish. So this one was $14 and it says that it locks in makeup and hydrates, protects from pollution particles and it's moisture boosting. All right, let's give it a go. Here is a close up of everything. Alright, so this is the finished look using all Flower Beauty makeup products. I'll just give you a quick overview of all the products. So firstly, the foundation shade is absolutely terrible and 
I don't know if I can be bothered putting that much lightning drops in it every time I want to use it, which is a shame because I actually really liked the dewy finish that it gave and that kind of medium coverage. It would be really nice for the days where I'm having a good skin day and I just want to look, you know, nice and glowy. I'll see how it wears though. If it wears well, then I'll probably take the time to put the lightning drops in, but it all depends. I feel the same about the concealer. It left a really, really nice finish. My under eyes did end up creasing a little, but I really loved how glowy the concealer looked. As for the satin finishing powder, I am really disappointed that nowhere does it say it is a color that it's pigmented. I would not have bought this if I knew. And I also think that this packaging is so excessive. Like, how is this going to fit in my drawers? Just stupid. Next, we have the blush. I really like the shade. It was buildable. It wasn't as satin as I was hoping, but I think it's a really nice blush and I'll definitely get some more use out of it. The highlighting stick, I actually really loved. I think this might be my favorite out of everything. It's just giving a really, really beautiful glow. The color matches my skin tone perfectly, blended easily, love it. Next is the eyebrow pencil. I think it did a good job at filling in my sparse areas. It's hard to give it a proper review when I've already got my brows tinted, but I think it was a really nice shade and it applied easily. Next, the eyeshadow palette. Nyeh. I might give the shimmers one more go when I'm doing an eye look, but otherwise, not that impressed. The mascara I really like, I'll keep testing it. I'll see how it goes throughout the day, if it transfers at all, and if it keeps my lashes looking separated and curled. And then the dewy setting spray. I really hope this does what I want it to do. Right now, I think, with the spray and the highlighter, I am looking quite glowy and fresh, which I really love. So hopefully this is a winner. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed watching today. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you share it with your friends. So exciting that Flower Beauty has come to Australia. If you've tried it out, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you aren't already, then please subscribe to my channel and press that notification bell so you are aware of when I upload. And you can also come follow me on Instagram. I will have the link down in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.